one of the questions some of the people who follow me ask is that they want to be in my mind about how I'm thinking about what the things I think about when I'm actually looking for salmon, okay? So I'm going to give you guys a few tips and a few um, ideas about what actually goes in this mind of this chovy. Okay, so here's the first thing. When I'm out there, I'm looking for depth. I'm looking for color, right? Color of the water is important because salmon have a certain particular type of water that they really enjoy being in and I'll tell you that how that looks like. Um, doesn't mean this is absolutely truth, but it's just the types of color that they like to be in and the things that I've, uh, I've witnessed this over the year. They like to have a nice green color and I'm talking about green, kind of a murky green color that when you're dropping your bait down, you kind of see it at the beginning and then it starts to kind of disappear in a murky, murky green color. That's a perfect type of color that they like. And that particular color of water happens roughly around 55 degrees and 50 in the mid 50s to below 50s uh, in the 50 range so that's that's the water temperature that the salmon like to be in getting it to 63 64 65 they'll still be around but that is definitely water that's maybe potentially a little bit too warm for salmon will they bite sure they'll bite because I've, I've caught them on 63 64 65 degree weather uh, on on the water temperature however that isn't optimal you want to look around 54 50 up to 60 54 up to 60 that I, I think that's the optimal range that they like to be in as well um, a few other things about salmon it's uh, also it's cold they, I don't know why they like cold weather they just like cold weather <laughs> they like kind of you know the northwest type of weather Oregon type of weather so uh, you know on nice sunny days they they could potentially be biting but I've also noticed that they actually like to bite roughly on on nice cold cloudy type of weather uh, a few other things I'm looking at when I'm out there fishing for salmon is also bait. I'm looking at bait. Is there bait in the area? Fish follow bait. Right? That's the number one rule. If there's no bait in the area, you're not catching anything. So I'm looking for big, big uh, balls of bait. And more importantly, not just bait that's sitting around doing nothing. Bait is actually being attached. So if you're looking in your fish finder and you're seeing bait that's just kind of hanging around, you know, salmon could potentially be there, but not likely. They're, they're, they're just like un, un, uh, unharassed bait. You're looking for bait that is harassed and is kind of being broken apart and you're seeing little arches in between there. That's what you should be looking at. And that's what I look for in my, in my fish finder. Diving birds. Diving birds are a great tail that salmon are in the area. Sometimes when the 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 bait are, are on the top and the birds are diving, what happens is that the salmon are right on the bottom of them and they're attacking the ball from all different angles and sides of the of the bait ball. And so that in itself pushes the bait up and then the, the birds are diving up and then the whales are kind of uh, attacking those as well. So so look for diving birds. They, the salmon probably could be there. Most likely they are. Here's a, here's a useful TLA tip for catching salmon that you can use when you're out in the ocean. When you're out there and you're seeing some bait, bait balls out there and it's kind of the bait is kind of popping up, make sure you guys bring a sabiki and jig up a, an anchovy. And anchovies are great for salmon and that's what they're feeding on. So take that anchovy, that live anchovy, right? Stick it through the nose with a barbus hook and send it right down underneath the bait ball. Oftentimes you'll see that if the salmon are around and they see that Lost anchovy just swimming right underneath that bait or around that bait, you'll get hit. Okay, so that's a good TLA tip that I'm gonna give you guys when you're fishing for salmon. You know, uh, what other signs am I looking for? I'm looking for any signs of life, right? When I talk about signs of life, that means are the birds active? Are the whales active? Are the water moving? Is there um, is is there signs of life is, there, is the bait on the top of the water start turning around and when, when those signs are all kicking in they're all in place you know the bite's gonna go off right if you're sitting around and the birds are just kind of uh sitting on top of the water not doing much and and the water is pretty much flat and nothing's happening and everyone's just starting to pull off their sandwiches and eating you know that that's gonna be a pretty slow day okay so these are some of the signs i look for when i'm I'm targeting salmon. Uh, as you guys fish out there, uh, let me know in the comments if what you think are good tips that you have seen over the years when the salmon start biting.